I welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I will show you how to create a public space with an offset along the grass or the pathways, the steps. All right, let's do it. I start with a polyline and then just select this one. And you gotta make sure you are in the polyline tool to make it work. So we click now to offset this. I click on this one. And now with the space bar, one click, and you can see you can offset this now. So I'm going this way first. I'm offset it by one meter. And then you can keep going. Let's do two meter. And another one, three meter. Okay, so you can see you have nice offsets of one meter each. And there will be my first steps. So steps I'm using for this one, I use walls. Because I got the same uh, straight away, the thickness and set of slabs, much easier. So the height of my step will be 300 and the thickness one meter. Okay, concrete, I put it on the arcade layer for now. So if you now go and space click here, let's start at the bottom. And we do this again, again, and again. So if I go and have a look now, we got this going here. All right, obviously on the same height. So the next bit is you do start to elevate them. And in 3D, it's quite easy. Select those three and the elevate by, actually, I didn't show you. Oh yeah, this 300 high. So you elevate by 300. And then you just deselect one and do this again. See, deselect one, do this again. There you go. All right, we got our first steps. Going back now, I like to offset a bit further to get some green grass going. So you go to the polyline again, you select this, and we do the same procedure again. So you click on this one and hold that space bar. And we go. So this time I got five meter. Enter and we add a couple more steps. We put just two, two steps this time. So we got six meter and seven and click again. Okay. So next one, obviously we draw a wall here. So we pick the latest one, which is the highest. And I space click here because it's straight away connected. I've got this automatic um, automatic group. Yeah, there you go. Auto group up there. You can see it's all group. So all I have to do now is obviously let's make this wall five. All right. We change the concrete to grass. There we go. And then we take again this one and we do another two. All right, let's go to 3D. Got my camera view set here. Okay, so that's what I got now. Turning around. There you go, beautiful. So again, we take those two, we elevate 300, deselect this one and elevate 300. So we got four steps, bit of grass, two steps. Now I do the next bit of grass, but we move the polygon slightly, I show you. So, polygon, select, and I only really need one, but never mind, we just do this now. And I'm drawing again by five, and click again, because what I like to do is just move this a little bit now, you know, to make a bit of a different arc coming around. There you go, not too bad. Just adjust this a little bit. Curve that a bit. Why don't we keep the five meters here? And I want to just sort of really get this going. Maybe we should almost say, okay, let's move this together. And move this a little bit up. A tiny bit more here and here. So you can see it gets wider here, obviously. So that's what I want. Okay, this is good. So I now take my 
polyline between the polyline and I offset again this time we offset again one meter two and that will go so we take this one here let's go to the wall tool it doesn't want to take the wall okay, there it is and I need to pick the wall you see there you go now if you do the wall here obviously what happens you can see and this is a wall so I could still say okay let's take this and do it five meters but obviously we miss out on all this okay so we have to do this with the slab this time so let's just undo this and we get rid of this but I can do those ones um, yeah still the wall tool and have to have a quick look just to make sure I don't mess this up. Yep, that's all good. So for this one using the slab tool, obviously I want to see how high I am. So you have to have a look, change this to project zero, so I'm on 1800. So if I draw my slab here, which I want obviously across, you make sure you put in 1800, okay? And we, hang on a second. Yeah, this is cross. Oh, I did not pick it. Let's try. Oh, it's a wall, of course. Silly me. All right, 1800. So I can't really pick it, can't I? Do this 300 like the others. And we go down and we choose the cross. Cross, cross, cross. And I keep putting this for now on the Archicad layer. So to go around here, so you obviously have to just use the slab now and you get your point. You can see how it changed, the cursor changes. And sometimes you can't sometimes see, to be honest. So what I do is for now, I just do it roughly. Because it doesn't, yeah, it picks those two, which is nice, but it doesn't pick them all the time. So just select this here yeah, see that's on there so move it there and here I think I was on the right one there so now we can obviously just oh no see not the right one it seems to be this one and now I can nicely adjust this there we go Yes, it's looking good. There we go. See, perfect. So again, we elevate and we elevate. Great. See, this is really nice. So I speed the rest up for you a little bit. Okay, so this is looking good. So I like to finish this off, sort of clean it up a bit. So let's take this slab and we just connect this from here. Right, so this is looking pretty nice now. See that sort of quite easily done, nice public space you know offset and you just adjust the thickness there a little bit and if you like you can just obviously cut this off using a polyline it just cut this off if you want to like this you know you can overlap doesn't matter and you just select everything and you should be able to split it this way Right, so we can now uh, just get rid of this and delete this. Now you can see obviously because the wall tool it didn't it could not split the ends correctly. So you could adjust that. I show you one, don't show you all of them, but you could easily adjust this by 
moving this to there and then you do a space click here uh, sorry you know pick that space click all click on the pc to grab this wall and then you fill this up with a piece of wool like this okay so if i go 3d now you can see this is exactly now right there uh, cut off so that that's what you do with the rest of it but for now for this exercise and tutorial i think i showed you enough how to create this public space with an offset and i hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back next time bye for now